Hello everyone, how are you all? Today we are here with another important topic in respect to CSE 2024 and that is the karst topography or limestone topography which is considered as one of the important topics in geomorphology. As we saw earlier in the lectures about the fluvial wind and glacial topography now moving on to the karst. So the question comes that the limestone is known as karst or what is it the chemical name so no. Technically, karst is a region which was present in our, uh, former Yugoslavia or you can say the southern Europe part where widespread beds of CaCO3 or MgCO3 magnesium carbonate or calcium carbonate were present and as we know it is more reactive with water, surface water and subsurface water. So they got dissolved and the features has been formed. So anywhere on earth where the limestone topography is found or the area where limestone is present and due to the action of water, surface water or underground water, the topography is found is which resembles like the topography of karst region. So it is considered as karst topography or simply we can say the limestone topography. So here is the you can see background Lime, landforms produced by the chemical weathering of the chemical or the chemical erosion of the carbonate rocks that those are calcium carbonate and magnesium carbonate by the surface water or subsurface water is considered an as limestone topography and as because it is found in former Yugoslavia karst region so it is considered as karst topography. So first we will see the erosional features and then after we will move on to the depositional one. So the first erosional features are lapis. Now the question comes what are lapis? So when the rain water will be there or the surface water and when those surface water will move on the rocks they will form the small gullies and those gullies as you can see over the in the image are considered as lapis. Moving on to the, their definition the highly coagulated and the rough surface of the limestone lithology characterized by low layers and pinnacles numerous solution holes and they are known as Glints or Greiks in Northern England, Karens in Germany and Bogas in former Yugoslavia. So these are considered as lapis. Now after this we are moving on to the solution holes. What are solution holes? So the surface over where the water will get accumulate it will you can say dissolve the calcium carbonate and small small depression will be formed which will be considered as solution hole chemically active rainwater dissolve the limestone and the other carbonate rocks along their joints and thus resulting into formation of numerous solution holes and they will be found like this then after the sink holes mainly when the solution holes will become bigger like between 3 meter to 10 meter then they will be considered as sink holes and if we talk about the sinkholes, sinkholes are of two types. One the funnel shape and the second one the cylindrical shape. Now the question comes that what are funnel shape and cylindrical shape? Funnel shape means there will be wide opening over the top just like a funnel. Then they will be considered as funnel shape. Means wide opening on the surface and as we move down it will become narrow and cylindrical shape from top to bottom the width of the sinkhole will be more or less similar then it will be considered as cylindrical shape sinkhole and in sinkhole as the size will increase the name of the sinkholes will you can say change like when the sinkhole will become bigger means two or more than two sinkholes will join the area the opening will increase and that will be considered as swallow hole as you can see when two or more sinkhole meets then the large hole is formed which is known as swallow hole. Now when the swallow hole will become more bigger it will be considered as dolines as you can see the area of doline.
the area has increased means when swallow hole will become bigger it will considered as dough lines when swallow hole are changed into further large depression then they are known as dough lines and they varies from few meters to 1000 meter means the depression area can be of 1 kilometer and three more than 300 meters in depth then it will be considered as dough lines now when dough lines will increase means the area of dough line will increase it will be considered as cast window as you can see and you know window means window means we can look through either from outside or from inside and as you can see the image has been taken from inside the cave so you are able to see the apply applying features and from top you will be able to see the inner features that will be considered as cast window it is formed due to collapse of upper surface of sinkhole or the dough lines these windows enable the investigators to observe subsurface drainage and other features formed below the ground surface simply those will be considered as cast window after the cast window will be the pozzoles now the question comes what are pozzoles simply if we see these are a separate they have a separate drainage system in which many sinkholes are present one canal will be present and that canal will have the vertical walls and as you can see the separate drainage system is there and many sinkholes that will be considered as pozzoles if we see the definition most ex extensive larger than dough lines depressions are called pozzoles characterized by vertical side walls flat alluvial floors as you can see the flat alluvial floors independent surface drainage system here i saw you or or on their floors and a central lake will be present that will be considered as pozzoles always mind it the question coming in your mind sir are they going to ask you the definitions no this definitions or this characteristics upsc will give you in the cast topography question and on the basis of definition and their characteristics they will ask you that this feature or this characteristics are of which type of topography or simply in cast topography only like the lines cast window or pozzoles all these now after pozzoles you will find the cast plane cast plane means extensive plain area again you can see many sinkholes are present over there many sinkholes a separate drainage system you will find and a extensive plain area then it will be considered as cast plain the upper surface having several sinkholes in the region of limestone having horizontal beds or slightly inclined beds are called the cast plain after the cast plain moving on to the next feature and that is the blind valley blind means which can't be see or we, who can not see and the valley which is under the surface or you can say simply which disappears with the uh, running water like suppose the river is flowing and suddenly the river is founding a sinkhole in mid and the river is going to slide down so the valley of the river which is visible over here is going to disappear and this disappeared valley is considered as blind valley the it refers to the valley of that surface stream which disappears in limestone formation through a swallow hole will be considered as blind valley means the valley which is not visible over the surface after this you will find the karst valley simply like the valley which is formed by rivers or glacier this valley will be formed by the running surface water in the karst plain or you can say in the karst area where the side of the valleys will be very vertical and it will resemble like u shaped valley then th that will be considered as karst valley as you can see the vertical walls and about the definition surface streams develop their u shaped valley on the limestone formation such developed u shaped valley on limestone are known as karst valley or the solution valleys after this 
मूविंग ऑन टू द केव्स और कैवर्न as we saw the blind valley okay now the in blind valley the surface drainage the surf the river which is flowing over the surface has moved inside means in the lower strata now what it will do it will erode down or simply you can say it will dissolve the co co cso3 means calcium carbonates present in the underground or you can say in the lower strata and it will form a sub surface drainage simply so after formation of sub surface drainage a cave will be formed and that is considered as cave or cavern as you can see these are formed in limestone areas by the chemical erosion of carbonate rocks by underground water table then it will be considered as cavern as you can see after this moving on to the depositional depositional features in erosional we saw that many features are going to formed and all the features are formed due to dissolving of calcium carbonate by the surface water or the sub surface water means underground water table now the matter which has been dissolved is going to be deposited and after the deposition the first feature which is formed is ponores normally ponores are nothing but a cylindrical type of opening in the caves are considered as ponores as you can see and if we see the definition the vertical pipe like passage that connects the cave and the swallow holes are called ponores and in servia and avens in france so in france they will be considered as avens and in servia they will be considered as ponores after ponores the next feature will be stalactites commonly asked question stalactites and stalagmites and you might be thinking that sir we have or upsc has asked mainly basic types of questions like the stalactites are related to which type of topography stalagmites or the cave cave pillar or swallow hole sink hole but apart from these features they can ask you any because if they have asked you the normal initial features so they can ask you in depth also so in stalactites what you will find that the surf due to solution of limestone over the surface in the cave let me show you suppose this is cave and this is the floor of the cave and this is the ceiling so from the ceiling the solidification of limestone towards the floor and attached to the ceiling will be considered as stalactites and when these drops of water will just accumulate over the floor and they will rise from the cave floor towards the ceiling then they will be considered as stalagmites and when these stalactites and stalagmites will meet they will form the cave pillar three things are there stalactites the deposition which is attached to the ceiling moving down towards the floor second the deposition attached to the floor of the cave and moving towards the ceiling stalagmites and when the stalactites and stalagmites will join and form a pillar like structure then they will be considered as cave pillars or cavern pillars like these are stalactites these are stalagmites which one so these are stalagmites moving towards the ceiling stalactites and when they are going to join they will form the cave pillar as you can see in the image like this after this deposition some of the other depositional features are also there in the cave but 
as the scholars are unable to name them or identify those depositional features. So, the unidentified and the unexplained feature, depositional features present in the cave of limestone are considered as spaleothelms, as you can see. And what is the definition? All types of deposits of calcite in the limestone caves are collectively known as spaleothelms simply. So, in this way, the limestone topography features come to an end in which first we saw the erosional features and then after we saw the depositional. You will find very less depositional and erosional features as because widespread area is not there of limestone. That is why and simply either the solution type of deep, uh, la landscape you will find or the deposition type of landscape you will find. So, we will meet in the next class, next lecture with important topics related to CSE pre 2024 and now it is time to move on to the climatology section where we are going to see the important topics like the precipitation, clouds, monsoon, El Nino, Indian Ocean Dipole, Madden Julian Oscillation or the ENSO or El Nino and La Lina phenomena. So, stay tuned and we will meet in the next episode. Till then, thank you. Have a nice day.